And let's just take about 30 seconds right now for a moment of silence as we reflect upon the life of our dearly beloved founder's wife, Evangelist Louise Patterson. Now let's thank God for that life of evangelist Louise Dowdy Patterson. Come on, let's praise God for her life and the service that she gave to this church and the lives that she touched. We praise God for the life of evangelist Louise Dowdy Patterson. I'm determined that you're not going to take my blessing. Look at somebody and say, I'm determined that you're not going to steal my blessing. And the reason I know it is because I've already had a little talk with Jesus. Woo! And he's already shown me that I've got greater in store for you. And since God have greater for you, that means the devil is coming greater. That means your haters are coming greater. That means jealousy is coming greater. But though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. I got a reason to give God the glory. That's why when I come to church, I don't come here for drama. I don't come here for sadness. I don't come here to be doom and gloom. I enter his gates with thanksgiving, and I come into his courts with praise, and I'm thankful unto him, and I bless his name, because the Lord had been good to me, and down through the years, the Lord had been good to me, and all of my life, the Lord has been good to me. When you think about your life, some of us should have been dead, already sleeping in the grave. But God said, not yet. I've got some stuff for you to do. I've got some ministry for you to perform. And I want you involved in the kingdom of God. And though the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifted up a standard against him and when God is on your side greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world Jacob whose name means trickster whose name means supplanter God said you got to reap what you sow in the world they say what goes around comes around in the world they call it karma but Galatians 6 and 7 says be not deceived God is not mocked for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. God says it's going to happen to you if you put it out. It's going to come back and boomerang and slap you upside the head. So you ought to put out love. You ought to put out joy. You ought to put out peace. You ought to put out gentleness. You ought to put out goodness. You ought to put out faith. You ought to let somebody see the God in you. You ought to let somebody see the Jesus in you. You ought to let somebody see that I still have my joy. After all I've been through, I still have my joy. I got joy that flows like a river. I've got joy down in my feet. I've got joy down in my belly. I've got joy because when I think, scratch your head and say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and everything that is done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, thank you, thank you for saving me, thank you, thank you for rescuing me, thank you, thank you for blessing me. Jacob went to a whole lot of unnecessary trouble, but Jacob 
himself got deceived by Uncle Laban and the time came oh Lord and the time would come where Jacob said I got to go back and meet my brother Esau God had been dealing with him and it had been on his mind he said I did Esau wrong and I gotta go back I gotta meet him and see if I can make things better and see if I can work things out and the Bible lets me know that Jacob was left alone he was left alone and while he was there being left alone God showed up he sent an angel in the body of a man he sent an angel in the skin of a man and he wrestled with that man until you got to learn how to wrestle you got problems you got turmoil you got struggles learn how to wrestle until tell your neighbor learn how to wrestle until he had to wrestle until until the daybreak he had to wrestle until he got his breakthrough he had to wrestle until he could shake that he had to wrestle until he unloaded himself he had to wrestle all night in prayer if you want to see the chains broken if you want to see the chain destroyed if you want to see the burden lifted if you want to see the yoke broken pray until God hears your cry pray until God hears your voice pray until you get through the ceiling and give God the glory pray until the demons tremble pray until God gets the glory keep on praying he prayed he prayed until the breaking of the day and when he saw not that he didn't prevail in some kind of mysterious way God let the man named Jacob wrestle with him at sometimes overpower him because it said he could not prevail and you know that God will always prevail but look like God let Jacob have a little victory for a little while and he wrestled with him all night long but after a while he touched the hollow of his thigh made Jacob limp put his hip out of socket but he was still fighting God is telling you you may have a limp you may have a disturbance something may be wrong in your physical body something may be wrong in your family life something may be wrong in your household but keep on keep on wrestling keep on praying Keep on praising. Keep on calling on the Lord. Because if you call on Jesus, he will answer prayer. If you call him, he'll be right there. Call him in the morning. Call him at noonday. Call him in the evening. Call him at midnight. Call him when the sun goes down. Call him when you don't feel like calling it. Call him when the devil tell you stop calling it. Call him and if you call Jesus. If you call Jesus, it's going to be all right. Give that neighbor elbow and say, neighbor, I don't know what you're going through, but keep calling on Jesus. Keep calling on Jesus. Keep calling on Jesus. Keep calling on the master. Keep calling on the deliverer. Keep calling on the mind regulator. Keep calling on the burden bearer. Keep calling on the lifter of our head. Call him. Yeah. 
call him until and when Jacob he is still limping and he said let me go let me go and Jacob said what you and I need to say all the time I will not let you go until you bless me come on and say I will not let you go until you bless me I've been waiting on the altar and I need a miracle and I won't let you go until you bless me and he said what's your name and he said my name is Jacob he said no more will your name be called Jacob but now your name will be called Israel meaning you are a prince with God and you've got power with God and with men and you have prevailed I'm here to let you know I hope I'm talking to Israel that you are a prince with God you've got power with God and you have prevailed I'm looking for Israel I'm looking for the prevailers I'm looking for the folks that know how to ride out the storm I'm looking for the folks that have victory even in their defeat I'm looking for the folks that said I've already won before the battle gets started I'm looking for the folks that'll say yes to his will and yes to his way I'm looking for a people that have Jesus on the inside I'm looking for Lord have mercy. I got to go, y'all. Look at that neighbor and say, keep fighting until. Get another neighbor, say, keep praying until. Tell somebody else, keep believing until. Somebody said, until what? Tell them, until what you've been praying for shows up. Until my blessing shows up, I will not let you go until you bless me. Because somebody said weeping may endure for a night, but keep on fighting until joy shows up in the morning. Well, Sister Beverly, by my watch, it says it's morning time. And when you go home tonight and look at your watch at 7 or 8 o'clock p.m., look at your watch and say, it says 8 p.m., but the way I've been praying and the way God been blessing me, it's really morning time. Weeping endures for a night, but joy. If you know 
that morning has come in your life, I want you to take 30 seconds right now and give God a glorious praise. Some of may want to run down here, release those statues. You know it's morning time. Then let God see you praise him. Let God see you give him glory. Let God see you give him the victory. Praise God. It's morning time. Praise him until. Dance until. Glorify him until.
My joy cometh. My joy cometh. My joy is coming. My joy is coming. My peace is coming. My joy is coming. Right now. 